All right, guys, Jim back here at Inner Drone 2018, and I'm standing at the booth of probably the single best customer service company that I personally have ever worked with. I've worked with DJI, I've worked with Autel and Unique, and they all have okay, so so good customer service. Sometimes they're good and sometimes they're not so good. But I've never had an experience with Parrot where you were like, you know, they were so good before. What the hell happened? Maybe I just got some idiot on his day off or something. I don't know. But I've never had a bad experience dealing with you guys. So today we got Gary from Parrot, so you can judge for yourself. All right, Gary, uh, so there's my favorite drone out there the all-time best drone ever made on the market sorry Gary it's the Mavic <laughs> the best drone ever made is the Mavic I'll give them that it's a really nice drone but parrot when you weigh all the things considered customer service you know and follow-up and how much their parts cost and where you can buy it and all that kind of thing you've got to keep these guys in mind because I mean, you guys make the Bebop, you make the Disco, you do, um, what is that other one, the Sense? Sensefly products, so the EB. Right. You've got the new Anafi as well as a parent drone. <coughs> and the Anafi is a, it's a micro, isn't it? It's a yeah, small it's a little, little guy that folds up, so it's a flying 4K camera. And that's only been out for like a few months? Since June, yeah. And how's that doing? It's fantastic. Yeah, we've yeah. had really great responses from it. Uh, comes in at a nice low price point and uh, gives you the ability to look straight up to yeah. all the other competitors in that, that competition. All time. I saw that. Now, I mean, I guess the, the real advantages for having a drone that will look straight up is you know what's above you before you go up. Well, really, we see it a lot for inspection purposes as well. So folks that want to do, you know, take it under and underneath the bridge and look for cracks, yeah. those sorts of things, you know, you can't do that uh, with a lot of other platforms. So just being able to fly underneath and look up is a huge advantage for those folks as well. Is it a, uh, a 4K? It is, 4K yeah. with HDR. A uh, three axis? That's correct. All that? uh -huh. Wow, wow. And what's the price point, roughly? Uh, the consumer model is 699 uh, the work model that we've got here today that comes with extra batteries as well as Pix40 capture and a one-year license of Pix40 model is $1,100. And that's the 3D uh, stitching uh, software. That's it, yep. yeah. Yeah, yeah. just like Drone Deploy, we were talking, I don't think we were recording, <laughs> were we? But we're, there, there's a 3D model right back here. Did you see it over at uh, 3DR? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the future of three-dimensional television sure. right there, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, it's pretty amazing. But um, with drone deploy, you can do a waypoint mission, capture 300 uh, still images, stitch them all together, and it makes a 3D model that you can turn in any direction. And that's what the software does that's included with the, uh, the, the, the better version of that, of that yep, drone. That's what comes with the NFE work. Yeah. yeah. Now, I've always been a, a big Parrot Disco fan. Because if you got into this hobby, just flying drones, just quadcopters, whatever, you're missing out. Because if you've never flown a fixed wing airplane before, all the way back to when we were kids flying a little P-51 on the two strings, <laughs> and wrecking the shit out of it before Christmas Day was over, then you're just not having any fun. You gotta get a fixed wing drone. Even if you do not know how to fly, ailerons and elevators and rudders and pitch and roll and all that sort of thing get a parrot disco you guys don't manufacture the parrot disco anymore though do you that's correct now why did they i mean had it just run its course and you replaced it with a newer we just wanted to focus on different different platforms i think uh that kind of that that market isn't as as, as you know, popular as some of the others are. And so we got to stick to the stuff that our customers uh, are really clamoring for. And so that's kind of what the direction that we went in. Um, the Sensefly fixed wings have been around. Uh, that's this one. That's right, yeah, mm -hmm. have been around longer than the, than the Disco. The Disco is kind of based off an original Sensefly EB platform. Mm -hmm. And so these are really uh, a commercial professional use for really high precision 3D mapping and modeling and surveying. Uh, that's what these are really meant for. And does this use basically the same, if you want to get a shot of that, that Don, but 
Does this use basically the same uh, technology that the disco does where it has a pitot tube and it measures air speed and it does that yep and then it's got a much higher quality GPS in it as well as an RTK receiver and it works off of a different flight planning software that's much more robust uh, than the old free flight apps were. and the RTK receiver is that the uh, ground sensor that no so the RTK receiver is what allows it to have really high accuracy so essentially our folks that are using it for surveying or modeling, mm -hmm. uh, it gets down to two centimeters of accuracy on their 3D oh, models. Oh, for so. mapping and all that kind exactly. of thing. Wow, yep. wow, two centimeters. Oh, that is amazing. Yeah. And is this one like self-launch too? You just throw it and it then is, yeah. same, same go idea. get in the car? It, shake it three times <laughs> and throw it in the air and yeah. just wait for it, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. If you don't know how to fly a fixed wing aircraft, if what does this go for retail? I mean, if a consumer wanted to get into this, is this it one with your premium flat with your premium sensors is twenty one thousand dollars. And what is the basic version? Because a lot of us can't afford quite twenty one thousand. I'd probably make a nineteen ninety five offer, but right? it's about eighteen thousand. <laughs> eighteen thousand. So this is strictly commercial, Correct. right? Yeah. Now, is Parrot offering anything that's along the consumer more affordable? Not on the fixed wing side. So, so if they want to do it, they got to find a disco out there somewhere. Yep, yep, Are it. there <laughs> any left anywhere? I'm not sure. There are probably some out there somewhere. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. We we don't have them specifically on our side, where we're focused just on the business solutions, so mm -hmm. just on the professional products. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I'm sure there are still some out there. Now, do you think Parrot's moving m mainly into the commercial side, like I, I wouldn't say that. Sort I wouldn't of say that. No, I think it's just a little bit of a diversification where. Uh, we're uh, kind of branching out a little bit where we've got these tried and true platforms and we yeah. saw opportunities to work them into more commercial Yeah, spaces. I can. I, a lot of companies are doing that thing and it's probably the smartest route to take because new regulation and all that, the consumer side is, you know, sort of getting regulated to the point where it's not going to be the Wild West like it used to be, you know? So, uh, yeah, you kind of have to... Uh, hedge your bets and make sure you're going to stay in business by servicing all sure, yeah. sides of the of the gambit there yeah, absolutely. and so what would you say that parrots like feature consumer level product is now what are you really trying to uh you know get out there to the to the public on the consumer level the anafi is, is our new our newest platform that one that got released in june where you've got that mm -hmm. flying 4k it can be a base for a lot of different uh, areas that we can work into on the consumer side. Something that's fun to fly, easy to fly, but still gives you really high quality imagery. Um, so that's really what we're focusing on now on the consumer side of things. Mm -hmm. And is that one uh, completely autonomous also? Waypoints and, so and mapping, the, that the kind of work version will do that. The standard consumer version does not. Mm -hmm. yeah. What's the range on the uh, Anafi? So if you're using the, the controller and everything, you're about a kilometer and a half. Okay. Uh, if you're not using it and just going off of your phone, you're at 500 to 700 meters, somewhere in that range. Mm -hmm. And uh, duration? 25 minutes of flight time, yeah. battery, um, and you're flying in up to about 30 mile an hour winds, which is pretty impressive for a yeah. platform that's that small. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was flying down at Bodega Bay one time, <laughs> and I got over the cloud deck. And I was just having a great time looking at all these clouds out there until I finally switched over to my map view. And the only reason I still had a connection is because it was flat water, but I was almost three and a half miles offshore and still going. <laughs> so you, you need a little bit of power to make it back to the beach. The only reason I made it back to the beach was I finally did a last ditch effort and I dropped all the way down to about a foot off the water and then it would creep <laughs> back. So, uh, you know, unless somebody's sponsoring your drone, don't do something stupid like fly over to the cloud deck and expect it just to sit there because it's not going to. If the clouds are moving, you're moving. Hey, it was nice talking to you. My pleasure. Yeah, I appreciate it, Gary. Absolutely. Like I said, if if you got a pair of products and you have any problem with it at all, just give them a call on their support line. They're always extremely friendly, good guys. And uh, and you guys, you do like email support too. too because. Yeah, because I've had them, like, I mean, to get back with me, like, right now. So, uh, website is, is it parrot.com? Parrot.com, senseflight.com. Yeah, or senseflight.com if you want to check out the Anopi. Over here at Parrot, I'll see you guys. Jim Bowers here on the Demon Seed Network. And, uh, oh, by the way, I want to let you know, 
uh, look down in the description because all of these people uh, really helped me get out here this year and and gas up that scooter and um, enter drone and aces deals I uh, want to thank you guys and uh, for all the rest of you schmucks I'm launching a new podcast called Living Extraordinary and I'll be posting <laughs> four podcasts each month and they're all absolutely true stories about my life and all the trouble I've gotten into and the people I freaked out, whatever. You just have to figure out which one of those four stories is false. It's a bald-faced lie. So four of them, figure out which one is the lie and you could win a drone. Hell, I might even give away my disco. Nah, you're not getting my disco. I might give you my P4 though. It's pretty banged up. See you later. Bye.